Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. and we are here at the Southampton Social Club and it's located at 256 Elm Street a very famous address in Southampton and now Mr. Ian Duke owns this property it's his restaurant it's all about the Hamptons it's all about dining in the Hamptons and it's all about social life and the nightclub scene, and it's the hottest club right now in the Hamptons. changes in the restaurant. What can patrons expect? We like to think we offer a little bit of something for everybody. May it be a couple going for dinner or a large party doing dinner. We are a restaurant, a bar, a lounge, a nightclub. We have outdoor cabanas as well as a tremendous outdoor patio. We have four bars. We'd like to think that we offer literally something for everybody, all walks of life. Well, it looks beautiful. Tell my audience a little bit more about the menu here at the restaurant. Certainly. We like to describe it as innovative American. So we've taken some classic dishes and done a modern twist on them, as well as gone with some of the Hampton staples. What are the Hampton staples? What do people want here in the Hamptons? What do they want to eat? What do they like to enjoy eating? Well, I think that a fresh raw bar is essential in any real Hamptons establishment, as well as some of your classic steak dishes, salmon dishes, that sort of a thing. And we've tried to do a twist on also doing a small plates menu and twists on classic American food, for example. Um, Quite a few years ago, you might remember when uh, macaroni and cheese made its, the comfort food came back and was on every menu pretty much in the Northeast. That was about eight or nine years ago. Well, we've done that with another classic American dish, cheese fries. Cheese fries. Cheese fries. Oh, we yummy. actually do black truffle cheese fries. And oh, I have to try Korea. that tonight. You absolutely will. Cheese fries. Wow. So again, sounding not as elite or sophisticated as you might like, but is there anyone who doesn't love cheese fries, let alone with black truffles. Delicious. Very, very delicious. What is your signature dish here at the restaurant? What do you, out of everything that you have here on the menu, what is your favorite? Uh, well, if we were going to be discussing food, uh, I would have to say I'd go with the dry-aged steak. It's 28, dry, 28 days dry-aged with a uh, horseradish and Gruyere mashed potatoes and a red wine mushroom ragu. For me, that's the perfect dish. That sounds like something my husband, the videographer, would love to eat. Well, I'm He's hoping we'll find and, out. He's a steak and potato man. But a lady like myself that likes to eat light, what's a good dish for a femme fatale that doesn't want to overeat but wants to enjoy the quality of your dining? Sure. For the, uh, again, for entrees, I would then say you'd be looking at the lobster tagalini or the halibut, both of which are extremely popular dishes. Wonderful, wonderful. 
That sounds amazing. And let's ask, what kind of wine should we drink with this meal? Well, wines, because of the eclectic descriptions of the food I've just said, I don't know that I would recommend just a wine. You'd probably be looking, if you're doing a variety of dishes like that, probably going to be doing more wine by the glass. I would also strongly recommend that you take a look at our cocktail menu, which is all, every drink is mixologist created, and it's some of the best drinks you're going to find anywhere, let alone in the Hamptons. Do you have a sexy cocktail here? We have there quite a few of them. Tell my audience. Well, uh, I would say that we have a few that are modeled after the Prohibition era. We have a drink called the Roaring Twenties. Oh, I have to have that. We have what a, is that? Uh, well, well, we're going to let you try them. Ah, uh, the Roaring Twenties. No, it depends I what you're looking for. And the reason I say that is we do have a variety of desserts on the menu, but people may describe the nightlife scene and as their dessert. So um, on the dessert menu itself, my personal choice would be the chocolate mousse. Uh, we also offer a fantastic cheesecake, uh, panna cotta. It's, it's a pretty good variety. Sounds all very delicious. And I'm sure my audience is going to enjoy dining here because it is a beautiful, elegant, glamorous, and very sexy restaurant located at 2. 256 Elm Street in Southampton. 256 Elm Street in Southampton, right across from the South. railroad station. It's www.southamptonsocialclub.com. Fabulous. Let's toast. Cheers. To a fabulous dinner at the Southampton Cheers. Social Club. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And we'll be back in a moment, darling, with more interviews, more food, and more celebrities in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. Hello, I'm Terry Thompson from Prudential Douglas Elliman. Welcome to the Hamptons. What I love about my job is that every customer is completely different, and every day is a new experience. I chose Prudential Douglas Elliman mostly because of my love for Southampton. I visited 20 years ago and knew I was home. It was important to me to know that I was working with a company that had not only the technology and professionalism, but a company that would also allow me to think outside the box and be an individual. I find her incredibly personable. I think she cares more about her job than many people I've ever met in any profession and that makes a huge difference. Uh, there's such a sense of sincerity and happiness with the work that she does that it really is important that she makes the clients happy. And what kind of sale that materializes from that uh, isn't as important as actually being able to do her job well and seeing people in, in the right sort of home. So let me help you find your Hamptons dream. Call me, Terry Thompson, your key to the Hamptons. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Guadalene, and we are here at the Southampton Social Club. And I am here with Shannon, who is the premier manager here at the restaurant, and she loves this place. Tell my audience why everyone from Manhattan to all over Long Island should come and dine here at the Southampton Social Club. Well, obviously, we have wonderful food. That would be the first reason. However, it turns into a wonderful nightlife. Friday. It does. Yes. It's like one of the hottest places. Well, that's, what, that's what the Long Island Exchange.com told me. It is the hottest premier club in the Hamptons. Well, what, what actually is so wonderful about our venue is not only the live music and dance floor inside the restaurant, but the outside becomes this beautiful, lit cabanas, sparkly lights, and not very many locations have a backyard such as ours. I, I know that, I know that. Yeah, so it's, it's one of the hottest locations at the moment, obviously, because of the change. Change is always good. People are coming to check it out. Madame Tongs was always very successful. However, with the new food, new decor, which is absolutely beautiful, everybody's interested. And once they come, they like it, and they come back. So. Well, it's, it's just right up everyone's social calendar to come right. here and experience the dining and the cuisine. And I'm sure you must get a lot of celebrities that come in yes, and love to 
dine here. Tell me who are some of the famous people that have showed their faces here. Well, we were very fortunate to have Hamptons Magazine do their kickoff party here, which was our grand opening as well. So Memorial Day weekend, they came. It was Chelsea Handler who kicked off the party, and there were quite a few celebrities. Hysterical, awesome. isn't she? <laughs> um, but we have had quite a few. I have to say one of my favorites was Barbara Walters. She was Barbara here. was here. Barbara wow. was here, which was phenomenal. And actually, she was here What's with your uh, favorite Mayor signature Julia. dish here at the restaurant. What do you love to eat when you come? When you after everybody leaves, what do you like? To I eat? have to say, it's the lobster pasta dish that you had. Oh my God, it's outrageous! It. It's awesome. Well, what's really fun? We did actually have um, lobster ravioli previous to this particular dish. And it, it was it was wonderful, but it just wasn't enough on a plate. So our chef decided to change it up a little bit, and it is spectacular. So I would have to say that's my favorite, which you had. Did you I, enjoy? I had <laughs> a taste of it. Yes, these guys yeah, devoured the whole mo More information about Southampton Social Club on the internet. Well, we do have a website, SouthamptonSocialClub.com. And for any event information, if you want to host an event here, a large party dinner, you can... A launch party, a charity event, anything. Anything, anything. I have an individual looking to have their wedding here because of our beautiful backyard. It's gorgeous. Yes. Um, you would want to email info at SouthamptonSocialClub.com. And that goes directly to me. Shannon. And between Ian and I, we will help you out. Let's yes. toast. Okay, great. Let's <laughs> toast. Cheers. Thank Salad. you for coming. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Darling. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews, more celebrities right here in Southampton. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> I'm Cognac Will Elaine, and we are here at the Southampton Social Club. And I am here with one of the bartenders. She is the <laughs> signature bartender here at the Southampton Social Club. Fabulous restaurant and night spot that everyone comes because it's so famous here in the Hamptons. Introduce yourself to the camera doll. Uh, I'm Jessica. I'm a bartender here for two years now at Southampton. Do they love to drink? I gotta say, for the most part, it's mojitos. You know, because it's all fresh. Everything, the limes. Everybody likes the mint, and they're very sweet drinks. So, for the most part, mojitos, and we have some signature drinks too. A lot of skinny girl drinks. So the ladies love those, of course. Bethany, does she come here? She has been here quite a few Bethany times. Bethany Franco. Yes, yes. absolutely. But you have showed us this famous this cocktail that you just created, that you just invented. And tell my audience what it's all about. Well, it's uh, refreshing to say the least, but it's the cognac cocktail. Um, a, definitely a signature drink here. And I'm not going to say what all the ingredients are, but because it's a secret. But it's a, it's a ni very nice, refreshing champagne cocktail. It looks enticing. It looks wonderful. And I can't wait to drink it. <laughs> okay. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information about the restaurant and the nightclub? Online, online to uh, SouthamptonSocialClub.com. See everything there. Fabulous. <laughs> Let's <laughs> toast. Cheers. With our cognac cocktail. Yes. Cheers. That's great. Delicious. That's great. <laughs> thank you so much. Jill. You're so welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. Wow. And we'll be back in a moment, darling, some more interviews right here at the Southampton Social Club restaurant and night spot right here in Southampton. We'll be back in a moment with more interviews, darling. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. Fantasy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.